uh, welcome. Uh, so Valerie and I, yes, this is Kyle behind the camera, by the way, if, you, if you're wondering. Uh, I just want to leave it on Valerie because if I put it on my face, you guys are going to click out. So so we are in Southern California. This is a uh, Wishat, Wishat straight over there. Uh, I can't zoom in because I'm using a prime lens, but it's a rainy day and we're going to try to figure out what to, to eat. eat. There's got to be something. Yeah, what do you crave for? I know you do. You wake up in the morning and you feel like, oh, oh, I need this in my life. This is a new series of a limited run. It's called Driving with Valerie. Also known as Surviving the Drive with Valerie. <sighs> Okay, so we just finished that poke bowl and wow, that was amazing. Like all that different flavors, like with the tuna and the you know, yellow tail, we get two selections. I love the customization aspect of it. And I think it's a great idea. It's not that original to be honest with you, but it's a great idea. It's relatively healthy, right? You're just eating rice and vegetables and all that. So what a, a great concept, you know, kudos to the persons or the people who came up with that and everybody else is stealing that idea in Southern California here. And I supposedly it's like the, the, the most popular thing going on right now, right? Yes. And then directly right after that, we went over to the Mitsu Mitsuwa. Mitsuwa market right next door. Uh, and I was shocked. I was shocked. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Okay, listen. We stumbled upon this place called Mitsu Market and it is literally planet of the Asians. These Asians are speaking perfect English. It is so weird. So many Asian people. Well, we're in America, first off. But it's like Asian we're in America. planet. It's so weird to hear Asians speaking English. It's so weird. If you've never tried beef tongue before, it's definitely something that you gotta try. The meat was so soft, but at the same time, it was like full of different flavors. Like, I could totally feel like another cow. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm grabbing something. What? You just opened the door. Hey, I'm, I'm vlogging about the cow tongue here. You gotta respect the cow tongue. What? I need to grab my chopstick. Oh. Okay, anyways, enough of that. It's called guillotine. 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 Okay, enough of that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and get some wings. Yeah. Some wings. Yeah. Are you, why aren't you excited about it? Um, huh? Wings. He likes yeah. Wings.
wow, I have to admit, that whole sports bar concept is totally foreign to me. At first when I walked in, I was like, wait a minute, why is there four TV screens? How can you possibly watch four things at the same time? But in actuality, it made sense. When I saw the menu for the first time, I was shocked at how many spices and flavorings you can add to your wings. There has to be at least like 20 different flavors from mild to scorching hot. And we ordered a uh, Parmesan garlic one, which was okay, it wasn't that great. Uh, mostly because it kind of got cold because I was filming and the main event was the mango habanero and that was wow scorching some of the hottest wings I've ever had in my entire life but it was definitely worth it yeah man it's really good stuff like for the whole sports experience I definitely recommend going there uh, if you've never been uh, if you've never been there um, and the interesting thing is Valerie and I we were the only Asians there And honestly, that drink, top five. Top five boba drinks for me, for sure. Really quality stuff, not too sweet. The boba was soft and chewy uh, at certain points. And the main event was the egg pudding. That was delicious. I really enjoyed the egg pudding. It was, it was beyond, beyond perfect. Perfect blend. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos all the time. Most of the time I make videos out of Asia, uh, Vietnam and such, but I'm visiting right now. So uh, don't be alarmed, I will go back to Vietnam very soon. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to, oh look, Valerie got sad when I said that, she got really sad. Uh, follow me on social media to stay up to date. Oh, snaps, what was that? Anyways, uh, be sure to follow me and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys later for a whole lot more of these awesome food trips uh, with Valerie and beyond. Kaolei.net, Facebook.com slash. Kaolei.net. Kaolei.net. Yeah. Kaolei.net. He can be my older brother. We have the same last name, so Valerie Lay, Kyle Lay. I don't older want brother. that. I don't want that. He's my older brother. I don't want to be your older brother. And hi. I don't want that. I don't stop it. I don't want that. I don't want that from you. I don't want that. <laughs> Too bad. I don't want that. <laughs> Why? Well, this is even worse than friend zoning, right? This is like family zoning. That's even worse. That's like a new term, family, family zone. Family zone. Don't family zone me. Don't you dare family zone me. Let's see. What's the poke place called? I bet it's called Gotta Catch Em All. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed. Let's see. Poke. Okay. I'm a comedian. Not really. Oh, Valerie's back. <laughs> so, sorry, that was a little bit high pitched, guys. I was, I was too excited. I, uh... I fell out of puberty. <laughs> <laughs>